what if you just let it be easy? What if you started expecting that good things got to come to you and it didn't have to require the struggle? What if you could just let it be easy because you understand that you are fully equipped to navigate this human experience? And if you desire something, it is because there is a version of you on a timeline somewhere that's here and now because time is simultaneous that already has it. So instead of feeling like you're lacking, instead of feeling like you need to struggle or work hard to get it, you just start embodying the frequency of ease, allowing yourself to have fun in the process, allowing the solutions to be easier, allowing the opportunities to flow to you. What if you surrendered the struggle and you just started to actually allow the beauty of this life to support you on the journey of creating all the things? I know that you have been doing all this work. I know that you have been doing your personal development work. I know that you've been doing the mindset work. I know that you've been doing the shadow work. I know that you've been doing all of this work, but I want to ask you, when is the last time that you actually just sat in this present moment right here and right now, and you were just absolutely grateful? When's the last time you just sat in the sunlight and just embraced the warmth? When's the last time you looked outside and just looked at the beauty of the sky. When is the last time you watched the trees dance in the wind? When is the last time that you just watched an animal outside living its life? When is the last time that you are just fully present in the moment without your phone, without a podcast playing, without music playing? Like, how often do you actually sit in stillness and sit in silence and you just looked around at the beauty that's all around you? Because in every moment, at every moment, there will be struggle happening. There will be things that are happening that are more negatively oriented. But at the same time, if you were just to look around at everything that's happening around you and just find the beauty in it, you would feel so much better. And sometimes I feel like we get so heady about this personal growth journey. We're always feeling like we need to get to another level. It's like the rat race that we left from the hustle society has now become this rat race of there's always more mindset work. There's always more shadow work. There's always more healing work. There's always more work. That work though, it's not going anywhere. It's always going to be there. And I find sometimes we get so caught up in listening to the hypnosis and journaling and visualizing and doing this and doing that and doing that, that we're not actually allowing ourselves to live. We're not actually allowing ourselves to experience life. And today it is like 47 degrees out. The sun has been beautifully shining all day. I'm in the Adirondacks, I'm basically in Canada, but I'm in upstate New York. And it has been gloomy and it's been dark and it's been raining. And that was beautiful in and of itself. But now today I got to walk outside with short sleeves on. I got to walk outside with slides on. I walked the dogs by the lake. And I'm just so grateful that I've got the windows open right now. I'm just so grateful that I got to stand outside in the sun today. I'm just so grateful that I get to witness nature. Personal growth isn't some destination that you're trying to get to. Yes, of course, you can always embody a higher frequency. Yes, of course, you can always be more embodied. You can always be more aligned with your highest self. But sometimes I feel like we're letting life pass us by because we're not actually appreciating the life that we're living now. And when we start just appreciating the little things and noticing how beautiful and how divine this life experience is, it actually makes it so we're able to navigate the hard times and the conflicts and the difficulties so much easier. But when is the last time you just sat in the sunlight and were so appreciative for the sun shining? When is the last time you let the wind blow on your face and you felt it, really felt it? When is the last time you looked at the colors in the universe and were just so in love with those colors?